ask me again is there any other different law regarding to change of sponsorship for domestic workers or those housemates or people who are working on a person or on a person scale working in those houses no all the law applies to all employees or to all people that are being employed in the the state of cattle all the employees are are really under the same laws we don't have any different laws when it comes to change of sponsorship it is the same procedure that we need to take however when we look at what we call the housemates or look at the domestic workers or those people that are working those houses only what changes it what we call the formalities only it's just only the formalities that change when it comes to change of sponsorship but all the laws change of sponsorship laws all apply to us most of the time i tell if you're in housemaid or you are working under what you call the housemaid or domestic work visa and definitely you need to change what you call sponsorship yes there are two options that definitely you need to do is first of all first finish up know the type of contract that you sign with your employer or with your sponsor once your employ your contract is done or once you complete your contract is being completed then look for someone who's giving you job then change apply for change of sponsorship if that cause does not work for you and your employer is not willing you to let you know change from one sponsor to another within what you call the lock hire definitely the best way you can negotiate with the person that's going to take you you exit out of the country we get out the first visa then you can come into the country back with another visa hope that is going to work and basically suit for that to avoid this being blocked in any way or the other so i own normally to my own ex experience for people who worked with a little bit definitely i always give that visa and uh, that kind of advice and i think i've got people that have been worked to have worked for them but where the problem comes from when we are negotiating with a person who is willing to take us visa we tentatively tend to be on a apprehend side that we definitely have to leave everything to do yes show the person that you are willing and you are interested to be recruited and what kind of motivation you give that person to be able to make sure that he can take off that gratitude and give the energy to look for you or send for you a visa that you can be able to return into the country.